Q3 2021, AstraZeneca delivered an extraordinary 48% total revenue growth, now including Alexion on our COVID-19 vaccine. This represents close to the $10 billion mark, our company's highest quarter ever. Since July, we've had eight positive results from significant late-stage trials. We saw an increase in product sales of 47%. Total revenue growth in oncology was 17%. CVRM, 13%. Respiratory and Immunology 25% and Rare Disease 6%. Total revenue growth in emerging markets increased by 42%, in the US by 53% and in Europe by 49%. Our biopharmaceuticals pipeline continues to deliver. Farsiga recorded an outstanding performance with 48% growth and continues to be an important cardiorenal treatment for people with type 2 diabetes, heart failure, and chronic kidney disease. Safnello ranifrodumab was approved in the US and Japan for systemic lupus erythematosus and the only new treatment for this disease in 10 years. We announced positive high-level results of PT27, a potentially first-in-class inhaled rescue medicine for asthma, tezapelumab, our potential first-in-class biologic for a broad population of asthma patients, was granted FDA priority review for the treatment of asthma and received FDA orphan drug designation for eosinophilic esophagitis. Our COVID-19 vaccine, Vaxevria, has been released for supply to more than 170 countries, with a majority of doses going to low and middle income countries. We announced significant progress in the quarter with AZD7442, our long acting antibody combination, which was shown to both prevent and treat COVID-19 and is an important tool for those who are not adequately protected by vaccines. In oncology, we announced a number of great results this quarter, a testament to our long-term strategy delivering scientific leadership in DNA damage response, antibody drug conjugates, and immuno-oncology. We saw promising in HER2 data in breast cancer, gastric, and lung cancer, with total revenue for HER2 increased by 134% in the year to date. Our HER2 Destiny Breast 03 results, which we announced at ESMO, have been described as the biggest breakthrough in breast cancer treatment in decades. The leading PARP inhibitor, Limpasa, showed high-level results with Limpasa plus abiraterone significantly delaying disease progression in prostate cancer. Total revenue growth for Limpasa for the quarter was 25%. And with Infimzi, we saw potential benefits in lung, liver and biliary cancer. And total revenue growth for Infimzi for the quarter was 15%. We're progressing on track with our integration of Alexion. We've announced multiple phase three readouts and M&A activities in support of our strategic ambition to diversify our rare disease portfolio and bring new medicines to more patients, including positive phase three results with Alexion 1840 in Wilson's disease. The first innovation in this rare disease in more than 30 years and the full acquisition of Kalem Biosciences, which will allow Alexion to accelerate late stage development of KL101 in AL amyloidosis. This has the potential to be the first therapy to address the organ damage caused by this disease. At the 26th UN Climate Change Conference, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, named AstraZeneca as one of the first holders of the Terra Carter seal. AstraZeneca's net zero targets were recently verified by the Science-Based Targets Initiative. We were one of the first seven companies worldwide and the only pharmaceutical company to receive this verification. We want to extend our thanks to all employees across AstraZeneca. It is because of the extraordinary work you all do that we continue to deliver life-changing medicines to millions of people around the world. <laughs>